Now, it has emerged that Dr. Monica Juma would automatically have been appointed secretary to the cabinet by President Uhuru Kenyatta had the MPs failed to discuss the motion that recommended her re rejection by yesterday. Well, Speaker of the National Assembly Justin Muturi says he found himself in a tight spot when agitated members ganged up to demand the motion be debated before presentation of the budget statement. That was of course yesterday. But in a strange twist of fate, even women MPs were split on whether to support or reject Juma's nomination during the stormy session. Well, Patrick Amimo will have that particular story in just a short while. But let me take you to Wasin Ngishu County, where uh, that particular county could also find uh, its health services completely paralyzed next week over delayed salaries. Nurses there have threatened to abandon work from Monday, complaining that they have not been paid for several months. Now, Governor Jackson Mandago said that there is absolutely nothing that he can do since the money to pay the health workers was not yet released by the national government. On Monday, was in Gishu County Health Facilities will be locked and all members will be converging here to go and demand for our salaries at Governor Mandako's office. He's running around the county here using our monies. With them, they are very, very, very lucky that they are paid through exchequer money. They are scams direct. When they fall sick, they don't go to, private, to public facilities. They have their own medical scheme of up to 10 million. And then ask, where are we going? He's not paying us. Our landlords are there knocking our doors every now and then. Uh, we have school fees. Them strike. Where do I get the money? Uh, personally, I've also not earned my salary. I mean, the entire county government, nobody has earned the salary. The reason we don't want to tell the staff is to understand that really there is nothing much we can do because we don't have the money. And when we don't have the money, there is nothing we can do. So we all have to be patient. It is a very unfortunate uh, situation that we would really want to tell the National Treasury that the, the money that has been allocated to counties, they should just release the money.